let's simplify this sort. The first step is to write the given question. The next step is to consider the denominator. We are going to multiply this denominator with the numerator and with the denominator. Next, we are going to change this given operator which is a plus to a minus separating the two terms in the given question. Next, we are going to multiply out because this is multiplying everything here. Next, 2 root 3 will multiply by 5. 2 times 5 is 10 and we have root 3. Next, 2 root 3 will multiply minus 2 root 6. This will multiply this. You are going to get minus 4. This is inside the square root, which is 3, and 6 is also inside the square root. Both will multiply to become 3 times 6. Next, 3 root 2 will multiply by 5. You are going to have plus 3 times 5 is 15, and here we have root 2. Next, 3 root 2 will multiply minus 2 root 6. This is a minus. 3 times 2 is 6. And inside the square root, 2 will multiply 6. Next, at the denominator, 5 will multiply 5. And we're going to have 25. Next, 5 will multiply 2 root 6. And we're going to have minus 10 root 6. Next, 2 root 6 will multiply by 5. You're going to have plus 10 root 6. Next, 2 root 6 will multiply minus 2 root 6. You're going to have minus 4 times inside the square root root 6 will multiply root 6 which is 6 times 6 next this is 10 root 3 minus 4 root 18 plus 15 root 2 minus 6 root 12 divide by at the denominator minus 10 root 6 we cancel out plus 10 root 6 and we are left with 25 minus 4 times 6 multiplied by 6 is 36 the square root of 36 is 6. For the complete video course on this subject, click the link in the description or in the pinned comment section. Next, here we have 10 root 3. Next, we can simplify the square root of 18. That is, the square root of 18 we give us, we we'll write 18. 2 into 18 will give you 9. 2 cannot go without a remainder. 3 into 9 is 3. And 3 into 3 is 1. Next, this has a pair. 3 is free. 2 got no pair. Hence, we are going to have root 2. The square root of 18 is 3 root 2. Here we have minus 4. And in the place of 18, I will write 3 root 2. Here I will have times 3 root 2. 
Next, this is plus 15 root 2. Next, the square root of 12 can be simplified further. That is, instead of the square root of 12, I'm going to have 12. 2 into 12 is 6. 2 into 6 is 3. And 3 into 3 is 1. This 2 has a pair. It is free. 3 got no pair. We're going to put it into root. The square root of 12 is 2 root 3. Next, this is minus 6. And the square root of 12 is 2 root 3. Next, at the denominator, we have 25 minus 4 times 6 is 24. Next, we're going to have 10 root 3 minus this is 12. 4 times 3 is 12 root 2 plus this is 15 root 2 and this is minus this is 12 root 3. Everything divide by 1. Next, we're going to collect like terms. This has root 2 and this has root 2. We're going to bring these two together. This has root 3 and this has root 3. We're going to bring these two together. That is, this is 15 root 2 and this is minus 12 root 2. Next, this is plus 10 root 3 and this is minus 12 root 3. I can say divide by 1, but we can ignore the 1. Next, this is like 15 oranges minus 12 oranges. We are going to be left with 3 oranges. Next, 10 apples minus 12 apples. We are going to have minus 2 apples. If this is orange and this is apple, then this becomes our final answer. We cannot simplify this further. We have eliminated the irrational numbers from the denominator. And this is our final result. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video.